everyone, Janessa Sterling here with What's Happening in Williston, and I am here today with Brandy Ledoux. She's a board member for the Epic Missouri Valley Fair, and I wanted to sit down with her and chat about all things fair, because this week is fair week, so I wanted to visit about everything that we can kind of expect. Right now we are in the multi-purpose building which houses all of the wonderful 4-H projects. You can probably see some quilts and other items behind me. Um, but yeah, outside of amazing 4-H projects, what can we expect, Brandy? Oh my gosh, we have so much going on this year as we do every year. Fair technically, you know, fair activities with the 4-H have been going on since last Friday. Okay. Um, Tomorrow is the, technically the first day of fair, so that opens up oh. at 10 with um, some of the shows over at the 4-H. Okay. Um, our biggest okay. change this year is 4-H All Things Animals are in the Agra, so it's our biggest building out here, so we're pretty excited about that. Yes. So they start at 10 a.m. with their um, swine, sheep, and goats, and then their exhibits open over there as well at noon. Okay. And then uh, as far as the grounds itself, we open every day at 11 for... Uh, lunch. Okay. So you can come all our, we have 13 food vendors this year. Nice. Um, some of the favorites, some new ones. Um, as you drove in here, you can see it all being set up. Um, so yeah, I mean, 11, 11 to 1, there is no gate fee. So okay. you can come and have lunch on us. Um, oh, wow. You know, nice. without having to do that. Okay. Get your favorite fare. It might be a shorter line. It will absolutely be a shorter line than it is if you come for dinner. But come for dinner too. Okay, awesome. And I'm just curious, how long has the fair been in Wilson? Uh, we just looked that up. It was 1908, so um, was the first when it first was adopted into you know all the legal papers and stuff like that. So that um, that'd be 115 years. Yes, 115 time. years. Okay, that's a long time to be in the Williston community and just to see how it's evolved. Now you've been involved with the fair board for a long time, correct? Yes. This is my tenth fair. Yeah, so a wow. minute. Very good. So. Yeah, and so what kind of entertainment, like I know of course we're going to have the carnival ride out mm -hmm. here, um, but what other kind of entertainment do you guys have lined up? Um, we have uh, a variety of acts. I mean, we have, we did advertise a petting zoo. Unfortunately, they canceled on us two weeks ago, so okay. we will not have that or pony rides. Okay. I know that's a fan favorite, but petting zoos are hard to come about, apparently. Um, we have the characters by Connie. She, she's in the Agra, too. She'll be in the front there, so she's the one that do, does the drawings, and those are free. Like, you go and sit down, and she's pretty quick at those, and she'll always, she's there all day up until 10 o'clock at night. If, you're, if she still has people sitting there, she'll absolutely draw you. So, um, Adam the Great, he's a magi uh, magician that we've had in the years past. He's a, a favorite. Um, they're hollow wood carvers. Uh, if you see the wood carvings around town, it's the same company. Um, we've had them for quite a year. If you hear a chainsaw going, just follow the noise because that's where he, those people are talented. Yeah. Like very, very. And then we take those wood carvings and we auction them off at night, every night of the fair. Um, from seven to like nine ish okay. it's like a silent auction so oh, nice. you'll see them set up um we call them you have to come in and pay um if by end of fair it has not then you go to the next person so okay yeah great along with that we have space adventures thrill show um there are three times a day uh we have our pie baking contest that's also tomorrow morning you can drop off your pies um from 7.30 to 10.30. Okay. And then, um, then, then after the pie baking contest, the pies are sold in the 4-H pop shop. So oh, okay. also in the multi-purpose with all the 4-H projects in the open um, class is the 4-H pop shop. And if you've never had their breakfast sandwiches, they open at 7.30. Okay. They have homemade caramel rolls and the best breakfast sandwiches you'll ever, ever taste. Oh, ooh, okay. Um, later in the day, they have really good hamburgers, things like service drug style, if you were around then with homemade potato salad. I mean, everything in that kitchen is pretty dang good. So, okay, great. Um, other things that we have going on, we have, uh, it's called a Beneficial Bugs. She'll be on stilts and different bug costumes. Oh. Um, Sir Mime a lot and Copper Cowboy. He was actually supposed to be here last year. He flew in, got sick, and then had to um, cancel. Okay. And then we have Amazing Bubble Factory. And then new this year too is our foam zone and our uh, family game show. It's kids like a kids connection type thing oh and i'm okay. told that they will play games with like every um if you're watching you're all involved so yeah. it's, it's gonna be fun to watch um great we have music at night mm -hmm. um we have tripwire wednesday and thursday we have slamabama on friday and we have um bonjour on saturday 
Okay. So once you pay to get in the fair, it's a five dollar fee at the gate, twelve and under are free. You come in and you can watch all of these things. You can listen to the music for free, um, that sort of thing. Um, yeah. Another couple of big events we have going on the grounds: Thursdays Bulls and Bronx, Friday and Saturday are races out here. Those will start at six p.m. Um, weather needs to hold up for us this week. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't had rain in like thirty-seven years, and it's trying to do it all in one week. So. I know you're all playing, praying for rain, but we over here are not. Yeah. Not <laughs> for just this week only. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, races Friday and Saturday. Uh, we have a rib contest um, cook off, which is on Saturday as well. And so, they, we are full of teams, I think. Um, if you're interested in that, just message our page or contact me, um, and I'll double check for you. And then we have a cornhole tournament too that's Friday night and Saturday as well. Yes, I saw that. So, so there's a lot of things going on out here. And again, pretty low admission, $5 gets you in the mm -hmm. gate and you can take advantage of a whole group of activities Absolutely. and things to see. So, um, and you know, kind of touching back on like how long it's been around, you know, I think the fair is just such a big event for our community and it's really something that everybody seems to look forward to just because mm -hmm. it it does bring in so, so many new attractions but then it also highlights some of our um you know local individuals here whether that be food trucks or those that yep. do the um, wood carving mm -hmm. um so yeah, yeah absolutely um one of the other things i forgot to mention is the um 4-h sale is friday at three two those oh. kids they work hard all year long um with their animals so yeah. come out and show support wherever you can again that's in building aids different than years past also wednesday night we always uh, kick off there with a free barbecue feed from the co-ops okay they sponsor that um that's going to be in the bowman building that's different as well so okay. that's next door that's building c it's right when you walk in our east uh or west gate i'm sorry and so you, you won't be able to miss it hess will be here with snow cones tomorrow night giving free snow cones out okay um all the goodies are here. All right, awesome. And it sounds like there's so many great people out there supporting the fair, being a part of it. Mm -hmm. So a huge thank you to everybody that helps put this on year after year, not only to Brandy, like she said, she's been with the board for about 10 years, but all the other board members, everybody involved with 4-H and all of the community support is just huge. So Brandy has been referencing this wonderful brochure here and it's got a map. Um, you can actually download this on their website, which is umvf.com. I believe yes. I got that right, yep. correct? Yep. Okay. that is it. So you can download and find, I mean, they've got every little bit of information on there. They did a wonderful job with their website because it's got the map and um, they've got the brochure. They've got a schedule of events. They've got um, ways to purchase. Uh, different things that you'll see along um, here at the fair. So make sure to check out their website. Again, that's umvf.com. Um, and you can also get any updates on their uh, Facebook page as well. But be on sure to come out. The fair kicks off tomorrow, Wednesday the 21st, and it goes until the 25th, correct? Yes. A couple of things I wanted to touch on. If you had a will call ticket, which you pre we sold pre sale for wristbands, those are in off the, our office, which is building D. So come in to any day you want. Um, Sunday is also free entry. We don't, and we're only open from 12 to 4 that day, but that is, it's free to get in it, and I believe it's two for one carnival wristbands that day. Okay, so, great. Mm -hmm. So if you want to save a little bit of money. <laughs> yeah, for those who've got multiple children or, you know, can't make it during the week, but come see us. I mean, uh, Janessa said, like, I am one of 11 um, board members, so. Uh, and then we have hundreds of volunteers that make this happen. We, I mean, and of course we couldn't make it, any of it happen without our sponsors. So we want to thank those people as well. Um, if you see somebody picking up a garbage, cleaning a table, selling you a ticket, serving you a drink, serving you something, like those people are volunteers as well. So um, we have several different groups in the community that come together to make this all happen and we're always looking for help. So if you want to be a part of next year's fair, whether it's for setup or help on the grounds while we're here or you know, tear down, just give us a shout. All right, awesome. Well, do you have anything else that you'd like to add about Fair Week? Yeah, just um, I do a live every day on my face on Facebook. So we are from Surrey Valley Fair with the red logo. Um, so you can catch that either live or whenever you choose to watch it. 
All right, sounds great. Well, again, thanks so much for taking the time, Brandy. We're really excited for Fair Week. Um, I'm hoping that the weather avoids us yes. and um, that it is another beautiful Fair Week. So again, thank you to everybody that helps put this on year after year. Um, and we hope to see you out at the Upper Missouri Valley Fair. Thank you.